Okay, this video is going to be about uh, some tricks I learned in uh, piping FFmpeg to uh, FFplay in PowerShell. This might have some other applications for any things you might want to pipe in PowerShell that you normally could do very easily in the command prompt. Uh, so let me just show you uh, uh, what I want what I want to do. Okay, so here's uh, generally uh, a script that will. Um, show FFmpeg will generate um, a black background and then text that's scrolling over it. And then I want to pipe it into FFplay so I can see it. So if we go into the command prompt here, and I just copy this in here, here we can see it shows FFplay and it's showing the text going across the screen, right? Well, all well and good. Now I expected if I, if I did, if I opened PowerShell, and of course I'm saying this from a PowerShell script, by the way, but if I open PowerShell, I would do this and it would work and it looks like it is working but the ff play window is not showing it's just it was pulling my hair out trying to figure out why and um i'll show you the solution or oh, yeah, hopefully the solution okay so and again uh this is the uh the powershell uh, script that i have um and it uh, now i should say that i think the problem is that in PowerShell, it does these expansions all the time. So you sort of really have to sell, tell when not to do that. So for instance, you use these tick labels to uh, escape out these dollar signs, the variable uh, names that are in my in these things so that I'll exp I can expand them when I want. Otherwise, it'll expand it right away. So it would it, it equal this and it would, without these, it would just expand file name input. There's nothing there, just put a blank. Anyway, aggravations about PowerShell. You know, they made some things easier in PowerShell, but other things harder, and they didn't really fix it so that you could sort of control it to make it like command shell. Anyway, I'm not going to rant. Okay. Anyway, so the, the bottom line is I run the script. It would generate, oh, it will pull these, um, uh, sorry, these, pull these uh, lower thirds and titles from the script file and it would generate. But what happens, I wanted a way to test it. I, I didn't want to just, every time you you know, you run these titles over the video, it takes a while to render. And I thought, well, I just want a black background to see the, the timing and the size. And so that's why I wanted to pipe it to FF Play. So again, I showed you, yeah, we're, um, you know, if I if I copy the, the command into a command prompt to work fine, but if I call PowerShell from my PowerShell script, it won't do it. It won't work. It'll look like it's working, but it won't show the FF Play window. So I'm going to explain to you how to get it so it will work. Okay. So... Back to my notes. So the um, uh, the way we get it to work is uh, well, there are a couple of things that we need to do. The first is that we need to um, we're going to need to wrap our whole ffmpeg command um, into a string. With these these are what these double quotes are. But we need to if we send a command like that, the command won't interpret it properly in that way. I don't know why. So um, what we need to do is we need to use this uh, argument in the command uh, s, which basically it's a very arcane thing. I, I only knew about it from a very small footnote comment and you know Stack Overflow, whatever it is. So if you wrap the whole thing in quotes, it removes the out of quotes. So this thing removes the out of quotes, and of course this is the execute command and exit, and this here will treat it will tell basically PowerShell, do not do any expansion, right? <laughs> so, and this is another thing that took me a while to find. Don't do any expansion, strip out these quotes. Then the second thing I need to do, and again, more arcana, is that arcana, you need uh, carrots in front of double quotes so that when PowerShell pipes it to FF Play, it doesn't strip out these quotes or it adds a quote. I don't know what it does. It, again, this just works. <laughs> So within your FFmpeg command, if you need to put, let's say, a filter complex within quotes, and you're going to send to FFplay through command through PowerShell, escape your double quotes with the caret thing. So now if I take this whole command and I put it into PowerShell, not only does it work, but you can see the window. So this is working fine. Anyway, uh, that's the tip. I'll put in the comments of this video, <laughs> if you're already tired of watching it, um, you know, what the little steps are that you have to take. And uh, now in this way, it works. And it'll also work, by the way, so my 
my procedure up here, I have a flag test. So if it's one, well, sorry. So if it's, I have, you know, FF play start, this is what I put here. And then if I'm doing production, I just use FFmpeg. So I don't need all this command stuff in production. The uh, PowerShell works properly. If you don't need to pipe, it'll run the FFmpeg commands pretty much as is, like the command shell. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you have a good day.